curious, I, get, I imagine there's people in the audience that are wondering as well as I was about the music business thing. Why don't you just give us a little thumbnail of pretty much what your business is going to be. Sure. Yeah. All right, here's your shot. There you got 30 seconds to advertise. <laughs> so go ahead. Well, my family has been in the music business for over 40 years. I started maybe 15 years ago. I do distribution, record label management, and everything else in between. Over the last even just three or four years, we've seen a revival in the record store, um, and especially on vinyl records. And um, we people basically asking us indirectly to come to patch jobs or similar, um, to have, be more accessible to provide these products. Uh, right now we're in an industrial park, and people will come once a month, and they said they'd come at least once a week. And they're interested in being provided music locally here. Uh, like my father used to in Rakakama back in 40 years ago to about six years ago. And then I brought him in and took over in, into my place. But uh, it's it's a record store. It, it's a frontage with, uh, and we'll offer everything only music needs. Okay. So it'll be a combination of retail sales, warehousing, if I'm understanding it correctly, and also internet sales. Yeah, we we'll do some internet in the back room. The guys, it's the only way to survive it these days. But. Uh, in the, in the front will be like a nice proper retail setup and then some office in the back, some storage. With listening okay. areas? Um, maybe. Maybe a station or two to listen to some used vinyl. Yeah. No plans for recording so they can make that. No, that would be cool though. <laughs> maybe <it's laughs> <not just it. laughs> now Mr. Russo probably said it, but what hours of operation be again? Um, most likely about nine to seven is what I'm hoping to convince my employees to move another hour later. Uh, nine to seven, Monday to Friday, probably like 10 to seven on Saturday, maybe 11 to four on Sunday, something like that. And the overall West staff thing was going to be what? I thought there were seven or eight babies? We're, we're right, right now, we're about five full-time in-house plus one or two um, um, part-time. Part -time. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's right now, I have a couple of offsite employees and stuff get technical. But yeah, right now there's only five, six of us in the building at once. Is this an expansion or are you, are you closing the existing uh, site or is this just going to be a, a second it's, one? It's more of a move. It's a, it's a yeah, move. I might keep a little warehouse over there for extra product. It's a 42-year-old family business. Nice. Replacing the 60-year-old. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hopefully we get to 60 and someone else will be here next time. On the elevations you were given, it sort of indicates record shop. Um, if I remember correctly, but the names of the various entities are either CD Giveaway Inc. or 30 Railroad Records LLC. So that's those are feed and business entities. But the elevation sort of shows you exactly what their proposal is. And he understands he has to go to the architectural review board from here to address the lighting and the other elements. But everything that was required by code has been submitted, and we thought that the application was being completed upon submission and review. Who currently maintains that right away? The village. You have it gated, you lock 